What's up, Insiders? I'm Derek, and I work on the live streaming product team. Today, I want to give you a sneak peek into some improvements we've made to Premieres, aka Premieres 2.0. Now, there are four total things that I want to introduce to Creator Insider Nation that will be rolling out over the next few weeks. So let's dive right in. And as a quick refresher, actually, if you're unfamiliar with Premieres, it's a product that we launched in 2018 to enable creators, artists, and publishers to turn their newest upload into a shared experience for all of their viewers who can then participate in the conversation in real time through live chat. Now, premiering a video lets channels to schedule it for the future, letting premieres to generate buzz around the upcoming video with a shareable watch page. What we've seen with premieres is that it not only generates excitement in advance of a video debut, but also lets fans to virtually gather and enjoy this real-time shared experience together, something that I think that we can all agree is very important now more than ever. And over the past year, creators have really leaned into live products of all sorts, including premieres. And we saw over 85% growth in daily premieres from over 8 million channels. Interestingly enough, most of these channels had never really used premieres before. So let's talk about improvement number one, live redirect. What is live redirect? Well, it's something that lets you put together a multi-part show experience by connecting your live streams to your upcoming premiere and vice versa. So whether you're hosting a live pre-show, interview, or a Q&A, our goal with live redirect is to help you build excitement and engage your community in real time before your new content is unveiled. And when it's about to start, you can send all of those live viewers together to the Premiere watch page by simply ending your live stream. We'll begin rolling this out in December 2020. The second feature update is trailers. And you might have actually seen one earlier this summer on this channel uh, on a video that Lauren did with us off. So what are trailers? Well, they let you upload a pre-recorded hype video between 15 seconds and three minutes long. That'll be played on the Premiere watch page and when a viewer lands on it before the Premiere is scheduled to start. This can be a much more compelling experience than a static thumbnail and can get them much more excited to like the page, share it with friends, as well as set a reminder so that they get a notification when your Premiere is about to start. And in our early beta testing, we've seen some pretty incredible creative trailers from artists and creators and we can't wait to see what you come up with to drum up excitement for your community. We've started rolling this out this week. And now on to update number three, expanded countdown themes. Up until now, there's only been one countdown theme available. And you gave us very direct feedback that this one theme sometimes didn't fit the correct tone for the content that followed. So we took that feedback to heart and are excited to introduce more than 10 new countdown themes that span a variety of different content verticals, moods ranging from playful, calm, dramatic, or sporty. Creators will be able to customize the length of these countdown videos as well, between one and 10 minutes. In early 2021, these countdown themes will be available so you can select one that best matches your premiere vibe. Let's talk about eligibility very quickly and I'll link uh, the Help Center article below in case you wanna learn more. But to start, channels must have at least 1,000 subscribers to access live redirect and trailers. Our goal though is to make these more broadly available in the future. For starters, trailer videos must be public or unlisted and owned by your channel. So yeah, you can't use another channel's video as your premiere trailer. Um, also note that trailers, if played back as the premiere trailer context, ads will not be eligible to run on them. But if they're a standalone video on your channel, ads will be eligible to run in that context. For now, you can only set up live redirect between videos on your own channel. And as a reminder, very importantly, all community guidelines and copyright rules apply to premieres, trailers, and live redirect content. Now our final fourth update, last but not least, is that creators can now schedule a premiere via the YouTube mobile app. And with this, creators can upload a video, schedule it as a premiere on the go, rather than having to do so on a desktop or a laptop. We're really excited about these features and we hope you are too. And as always, we would love your feedback on how we can further improve and make these features more useful for you. We'd also love your ideas on what new features we should be thinking about. So feel free to leave any questions or feedback in the comment section below. Happy premiering, Insiders. Keep it real.